Hi, I'm Dan Cordopassi. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale 3800 cubic foot covered hopper from Rapido Trains. My example is decorated in the Procore Flying P scheme with UNPX reporting marks. Rapido also offers these cars in other paint schemes. The MSRP for this model is $49.95. I got mine for $39.99 from a popular online retailer, so it pays to shop around. So let's put 100 potential points on the board and see how it does. The car comes packaged in a cardboard box. Inside the box is a plastic insert. There's some literature on the underside, as well as a couple of small parts. The upper plastic part is a little bit hard to get off. There it goes. And then the car will come out. As you can see, it's got some more plastic around it to protect it. And then some plastic truck protectors. And be very careful when removing these because it looks like if you just rip them off, it might possibly damage the model. The way I remove these is to grab the side frames with my thumb and forefinger and then gently work the clips off with my other hand. The truck clips are awkward to deal with and without them the box allows the car to slide back and forth. This doesn't provide much protection if the box is dropped, so I'm taking five points in this category. I'd recommend junking the clips and adding some pieces of soft foam to each end of the box when storing the car. The prototype cars were built starting in the 1960s and many are still in service today. I wasn't able to find any photos of these cars in this particular paint scheme, but I found some photos online of the same cars in other schemes and the model appears very accurate. The paint on this car looks really good. All of the markings are crisp and opaque and I can't find any voids. Even the tiny writing is legible with magnification. One thing that seems a little odd is that for a car with a build date of 1975, it doesn't have a COTS block on it. On the ends, the car has uncoupling levers, air hoses, and a lot of freestanding detail, especially on the B end. The brake wheel looks really good. The ladder rungs and the end cages are molded on, but done in a very delicate way, so they look really good. The car also has a photo etched crossover platform on each end. I really like the raised lettering on the truck side frames. It's hard to see, but cool. On top, the car has great detail, including a photo etched walkway and nicely done hatches. One of the roof walk end grabs is missing on my car, so I'm deducting five points for that. Underneath, the car has freestanding brake piping and pretty good discharge gate detail. The coupler on the A end is at the correct height. The B end coupler is low, so I'm taking five points for that. All of the wheels are engaged according to the NMRA standards gauge. The car weighs 4.7 ounces, very close to the 4.5 ounce NMRA recommended weight for a car of this length. I think it should track pretty well. The car has quite a bit of body wobble, which isn't good, as it can rock back and forth as it's going down the track. This can probably be fixed by tightening one of the bolster screws, but I'm taking another five points for this. The car is very free rolling. So let's take a look at what we've got. The box design with the awkward truck clips doesn't protect the model as well as it could, so I took five points in the packaging category. One of the end grab irons was missing on my car, so I took five points in the paint and detail category. Since one coupler was low and the car wobbles quite a bit, I took a total of 10 points in the standards and operation category. That leaves us with a total of 80 out of 100 possible points, which would be a solid B- on a report card. Most of the issues with the car can be easily fixed, so I feel very comfortable giving it a green signal. These are very nice, accurate cars that would be right at home on any modern era HO scale layout. Rapido makes a good product, so I don't really think you can go wrong with these. 